Hey guys, and welcome to another video. In this video, I would like to explain how to add the second server to Coolify. You might have installed uh, Coolify like me on, on the server itself and add all the extra applications on the local host, which is the Coolify server in the same instance. But what if you want to add another server to it? First of all, let's get a, a new server from Hetzner. So here I've got the first server that I have my Coolify instance running on right now to CPIX11. And I'm going to add another server and just put it somewhere. I'm going to keep it the same. Uh, Falkenstein, I'm keeping this on Ubuntu. Uh, adding this architecture, uh, CX11 is going to be enough for this tutorial. Um, but you can choose whatever you like. And so I'm going for all of these things. Um, I'm keeping here the SSH key uh, empty. Um, it, it's a better practice to, to actually set up an SSH key. Server two. All right, so now we're going to log into the server. So we use uh, the terminal and then we log in and say SSH minus L root and then we fill in the IP address then uh, you use the password uh, I'm using a password that I received by email but better to fill in the SSH password and uh, do that stuff um, right now it's telling me to uh, fill in the current password again because I'm using the, the password from email from Hessner and I need to set a new password Okay, done. Now root at server dash two. So I'm inside the server now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do apps get update and let it do its work. As well. And then app get upgrade. Uh, yes, hit enter. Meanwhile, as this is uh, going, um, I'm going to the Coolify. So in Coolify, um, when we go to the servers, um, we need to actually go to security, uh, add a new private key, and generate new SSH. Okay. Uh, okay, great. And so this this thing is something you should not share at all, um, but you're not seeing everything and this is for demo purposes. So, but this public key, this is the thing uh, you can share with others and other people. Um, so you copy this uh, public key, you save that somewhere safe. Uh, and probably also the private key just in case. But I think you can get this always later on in Coolify too. Um, and what we need to do is we need to put this public key in this file. So we're going to check back on what happened over here. And in the meantime, it asked me to do something over here. Uh, I'm escaping my way out using escape. And I'm waiting for this uh, root server dash two to appear again. And now I know that the apt upgrade is complete. So that's nice. Now we're going to install uh, midnight commander apt get install mc. Yes. Escape. And the name appears, so I know it's ready. Uh, now cd the dot ssh. And in here we're using midnight commander, so we say mc, enter, and we get this blue screen. We go one arrow down. And on Mac, I need to use the Fn key with F4. Um, so, uh, yes. And I say uh, I want to use nano, so I need to enter one, enter. And now I'm inside the authorized keys. Right now the file is empty because I did not enter any uh, SSH keys from Hessner. Uh, if I did that, I would actually see one or two keys in there, depending on how many I selected from buying the server from Hetzner. But in this case, this file is empty. And so now I need to add this line to it. And if you already have something in there, just arrow down 
and add a new line to this file. So I'm going back over here, copy this, uh, and I paste this. Control X, so that is over here, as you can see, is exit. And it says, do you want to save it? I hit Y for yes, and I hit enter. And now it is added. So now I can go over here and say continue. Save, just in case. Uh, but I think it was already saved. And now I'm going to the servers, add the server, call this server2. Go back to Hessner to get the IP address. Put it over here and now over here the private key. I select server2 private key, which we just added. And I hit continue. Now one last step to do and then this video is over is to validate the server and install Docker engine. And after a while it shows proxy running the green stuff and it is ready. Now let's test this out and install uh, some sort of application on the second server and see if it goes down if we turn off the server in Hessner. Uh, and that Kudafy is still running on server one, then we're pretty sure that everything works as intended. So we go to the project, hit a new one, uh, I'm going for change detection. And over here you can see now I can select either localhost or server two, so server two. Docker, and now something to keep in mind is um, if I want to have this on a custom subdomain, uh, instead of using the same IP from what we used Coolify installations with, so when we go back to uh, Cloudflare, uh, we were managing the DNS. So, so far I've been using 49131641 for all these applications. Uh, and a custom subdomain for it. But now, because we have a second server, which has a different IP address, we need to point it to that. So, uh, in order to do change detection, uh, let's say uh, change dot, uh, and then the, the domain name, we go to Hessner to get the IP address, copy, and we go to the DNS, add a record, a record is the same, and so let's say change, uh, dot amazing tutorials la 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 and so instead of four nine la la we do the two three eight eight turn off proxy put this on one hit save and in Kudafy over here with this application uh, I'll change this to https dot change that amazing tutorials three six nine dot uk hit save. Go back, hit save just in case, and hit deploy. Okay, let's open this up. Might take a little while for this to be created. And there we go. So now change detection.io is installed and hosted on server two. So Let's verify that. So we have over here uh, server two. Let's just go back to both servers. So we have amazing server with Coolify and all these other applications and server two with change detection. Now let's turn off server two. Turn it off. Okay. So it takes a little while. All right, server stopped. So in this case, what's supposed to happen is that change detection is not going to work and that Kudafy is still working because that's an amazing server. We go over here, refresh, and now it keeps loading and loading and loading. That's good because we turn it off. So right now it doesn't load anything anymore. And uh, let's go to Kudafy, refresh this, and we can still do things over here can still go to the home and do all kinds of things because this is all an amazing server. And this is not working at all anymore. So that's great. We just turn it on again. Power on, server started. Now, might not happen directly, 
but give it a little bit of time and it will connect. Back gateway. And now it just works. So um, there it is. I hope you've been able to follow along, uh, understand everything. If you don't, uh, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to ask. And I um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.